Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime. A bit of a late video for you here on Thanksgiving. I uh, wasn't going to do a video today, but something came to my attention that I, I guess I've been paying attention to vaguely in the background, and that is literally the largest game leak in the history of video games. Um, you guys know we cover a lot of leaks and rumors, so you can grab your tinfoil hats if you want, but this is something that we've known about basically for half of the year. Uh, but a lot of people kind of dismissed it. But as we get deeper and deeper into the year and more and more games on this list are confirmed, it gets really interesting for all platforms, by the way, be it Sony, Xbox, PC, and even Nintendo Switch. So I kind of wanted to take a look at this because we haven't really deep dived into this onto our channel. And I think this is a great way to, uh, you know, maybe end your Thanksgiving or kick off your Black Fridays or whatever you guys have to be doing over the next 24 hours. Um... So before we get into that, i got to remind you, this Sunday we do have our Prime Giving event where we are giving away a Nintendo Switch OLED bundle, also a special edition Pokemon Switch Lite, uh, some Zelda Game & Watches, and a bunch of other stuff that we're still gathering together. I really hope to see you guys all there. There'll be a link down in the description uh, and the pinned comment to enter for the grand prize, as well as find a link to that stream to set your notifications. Also, if this video can get to a thousand likes in the first 24 hours, I'll give away a $20 eShop gift card to somebody down in the comments. All right, folks, without further ado, let's get into this leak. All right, folks, so we are referencing the GeForce Now leaks. GeForce Now is a service um, that you can subscribe to that basically lets you play games you currently have access to on your Steam library and stuff like that, but through their servers. So if you are basically running a Chromebook, you could use your Steam library on a Chromebook and run it on a high-end PC stream to you. It's actually a really, really neat service. They don't sell you games. They just sell you a service. Um, but what's interesting here is that a big leak came out of this that people were like, really, are developers using GeForce now during the pandemic? And yeah, it looks like developers were using GeForce now during the pandemic. Now, this list has been updated uh, since then to give us um, internal release dates. Now, most of these internal release dates have been incorrect, but that's why they're internal dates, not public dates. Plus, with all the game delays out there, we know public dates aren't always reliable either. We just had Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp delayed as Nintendo Switch fans. So, yeah, public dates aren't always reliable at this moment. But... Um, it's still really, really interesting going through this list. Um, th there's like everything on here, man. It's all these different developers, all these different companies. So um, as we, as I go through this list, obviously there's a lot of things we want to pay attention to, and chiefly is what's happening with Nintendo. But we'll we'll cover this other stuff as well, because why not? Um, especially like you know, Arc Two by Studio Wildcard. That that's yes, uh, a new Anno game. Uh, coming, you know, to follow up the last one that was really, really good. I'm sure Linus Sebastian from Linus Tech Tips is pretty happy about that one. Um, so that that's on here. Um, scrolling on down those lists because it, it's in alphabetical order of the games. Obviously, Alan Wake Remastered. We know that was confirmed. Uh, let's see. We have um, Ashes of Singularity 2 is on here. That's that's a good one. Avowed, of course, which we've obviously known about for a while. Babylon's Fall. We got Bat, Bat, uh, Batman Arkham Insurgy from WB. So that's a very interesting one there. Um, you know, scrolling through this list, and you guys are seeing it on screen here while I go through it here. Uh, there, there's just a lot of good stuff on here. Bloodborne, though, is missing, which I thought Bloodborne would be on here as a PC port from the PlayStation 4 since Sony's bringing a lot of PC games over. But apparently not. Um, so just going uh, further and further down this list, City Skylines 2 is on here. Um, that's a potential one that could come to Nintendo Switch. Uh, scrolling on down further, uh, we're going to see Crisis 2-3 uh, Remastered, Crisis 4. These are things that have already happened, uh, so we already know about those. Um, Dead Island 2, Death Stranding Director's Cut, which uh, this was supposed to be a PC release for there. Uh, scrolling down, Destroy All Humans 2 Remake. That's right, it was on this list before it was ever confirmed and released. And interestingly enough, there's Destroy All Humans 3 on the here. And wouldn't that be fun if that came to Switch? That's, that's a really exciting one. Um, Diablo 4, which we obviously know is in development. Um, and then a Chinese version, apparently. 
Uh, Dragon Age 4, which, I, which one thing I find interesting about this is that it appears that they want this to come out next year. I think that's what's really interesting since we haven't seen a lot about it. But maybe we're going to be a big blowout at the Game Awards. We'll have to see there. Uh, Dragon Quest 12, the, the Flames of Fate. Obviously, we were going to get a sequel, you know, another Dragon Quest game. Dragon Quest uh, 11 did so well. And obviously, Dragon Quest is a series that's going to be targeting Switch. So there's another great one from Square Enix. This supposedly is targeting 2023. Um, so we'll have to wait on that. But that is definitely interesting uh, just, to, just to think about, uh, you know, Square continuing support of Switch all the way into 2023. Um you know, so we're seeing the you know, Elden Rings on here, which obviously they've had a beta for at this point. Uh, and we've also known about that one for a while. Everwild is on here uh, from Rare. That's supposedly Rare's next game after Sea of Thieves. Uh, so that's good big news for Microsoft there. Uh, and, and by the way, Everwild looks like it's scheduled for 2024. It looks like Everwild is just a ways off, right? Um, uh, scrolling on now further, we're seeing obviously Fable 4, which we obviously know about. Final Fantasy VII Remake, which we know about. Obviously FIFA. Uh, the Fast series. Uh, Farming Simulator 22 is on here. Um, let's see. Uh, some Final Fantasy Tactics Remaster. That's one I find really interesting and one that I think could come to Nintendo Switch. Final Fantasy Tactics was amazing back in the day. To, to see that come back as a remaster, that one has yet to be announced, and that's supposedly early next year. That, that could very well be like a Nintendo Direct drop. It could also be a drop at a PlayStation event. It could be a drop at the Game Awards. Um, cause that's supposedly early next year. Um, now I don't, I doubt it's going to actually release early, like, you know, January next year, but, um, that's on there. Uh, so that's, that's really interesting, uh, to see in here. And, and I'm sure you guys are probably noticing some, uh, as I'm going down this list here that you guys might, might think it's a big deal, like Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. It looks like a new, uh, FNAF game. Uh, obviously Ghost of Tsushima and stuff like that. That's just games going to... Uh, the PC from uh, PlayStation. Gear 6, obviously Gear 6 is yet to be confirmed yet, uh, so it looks like that might have been worked out on here. Um, obviously the Grand Theft Auto remasters were on here, the trilogy, before we knew the trilogy was coming, so that's just another confirmation from this list. Um, you know, Helldivers 2, uh, that, that, that's a one that stands out to me. Uh, let's see here, Hello Neighbor 2, I know my, my children really like Hello Neighbor, so that's obviously... Uh, one my kids will be interested to hear about. Uh, scrolling down the list, you know, Injustice 3, uh, Gods Will Fall. That, that, that's on this list. Uh, Kingdom Hearts. Obviously, uh, you know, Kingdom Hearts has made this list. Uh, Kingdom Hearts, what is that, 4? I'm, I'm confused. Is this a PC? Uh, I, I don't know which version this is, but supposedly in 2023 it's coming somewhere. Uh, scrolling down, you know, we have... Uh, obviously, the Life is Strange stuff, uh, which ended up uh, mostly being uh, correct. Although, I don't think Before the Storm has been announced yet. Uh, we'll have to see on that front. Uh, going further down this list, you know, we, we see Mega Man on here. Uh, we see Monster Hunter 6 on here, which we really hope comes to Switch. We don't know. Monster Hunter Rise, that's obviously the PC version. Uh, so we already know that one's real. Um, yeah, this list, I mean, it just goes on and on. It seemingly never ends. It's insane. There's so many games. Payday 3 is on here. We got the prior Payday games on Switch, so who knows there, although it's not slated until 2023. Um, we have just, wow, a bunch of project names, which we aren't really sure what they mean yet. Um... So I'm going to kind of skim over those project names because, honestly, they could mean a million things, and we don't really know, and we'd just be guessing. Um, so we'll skip past all the project ones. Uh, next up, you know, we obviously see uh, some Resident Evil Outbreak. That's one that hasn't been announced yet that's supposedly a Switch exclusive. Uh, so we'll have to see on that one. And that one looks like it's internally slated for March of next year. Hasn't been announced. Again, look for a Nintendo Direct drop on that or the Game Awards. Um, that is something to pay attention to. That That is supposed to be the big Resident Evil game built from the ground up for Switch that has a really big budget. Uh, so we'll, we'll have to see if that one turns out. Obviously, we see Stalker 2 on here. That, that to me is... That, to me, is stupidly exciting. Uh, if you're wondering what these uh, numbers are to the left, those are Steam ID numbers. So any of the ones that have Steam ID numbers next to them are obviously references to PC versions of games. Um, 
Scorn, which we know is delayed, is on here. Uh, let's see here. Star Citizen, which has been out forever. Star Field, of course. Um, Street Fighter 6 is on here. Super Monkey Ball. Uh, Banana Mania was on here, which obviously we already know that was legit and came out. Um, uh, scrolling down further, we're getting close to the end here. We're into the T's. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Shredder's Revenge. Uh, Avenge, I guess that's, uh, you, you know, they're internally was supposed to come out next month. Um, Tekken 8. Uh, the Elder Scrolls 6 is on here. Um, yeah, the Legend, oh, the Legend of Heroes uh, series is on here. A bunch of stuff there. Looks like mostly just going to PC. Um, yeah, Titan Quest 2. Total Warhammer 3, which that's exciting to me because I'm a big Warhammer guy. Um, moving uh, down that list even further. And again, I know that I'm just kind of rambling here, but that's because this list is so overwhelming to me. And I wanted to show the entire thing on video and give enough time for people to sort of sift through this list and find the things that they care about of course the list will also be linked down in the description as well now i know one of the games on here that has a lot of people excited is chrono cross remastered which again hasn't been confirmed yet but a lot of these games either already existed or have been confirmed since this leak which just makes this potentially the biggest video game leak ever um, and that to me is impressive because this covers everything. The only thing not on there is Nintendo first party games because Nintendo first party clearly didn't use GeForce now during the pandemic, which I'm not surprised. Most of their first party teams aren't even in the West, but, um, yeah, like Square Enix has so many games on here. I'm surprised because they're obviously not in the West either. So a lot of companies were obviously choosing to use GeForce Now or partnering with GeForce Now uh, to help with their game development behind the scenes. And I'm sure it was a seamless experience until this, this you know, giga mega leak happened uh, off the service. So, yeah, I, I, I think that this is probably at this point legit. I, I think we've had enough game. Like some people are saying, oh, let's wait for Chrono Cross to get confirmed. Or let's wait for X, Y, and Z to get confirmed. And it's like we've had... Almost a dozen games on this list confirmed since it came out. It's very clear that this list was legitimately games being worked on behind the scenes using GeForce Now's, um, you know, servers and everything as a liaison for development at home when everyone was working at home. So clearly that's what was happening here. And this leak just looks more and more legit as the days and weeks go on. And I am just in awe. Like, there's so much here to process. I honestly could, could be talking about this for like seven hours. That's how much there is here. Um, I am just flabbergasted. So what I would like to see you guys do is maybe go through the list yourself. Uh, and go down in the comments and grab three games that you're super excited for from this list that haven't been announced yet uh, that you really want to come true off this list. Because remember, every game that's on this list doesn't mean these games are going to come out. Remember, these were development documents. And since it was from a development document, we can't be certain that any of these games will actually come out because um, plans change, obviously, if you didn't know behind the scenes all the time. So... Um, we can't just, oh my gosh, because a bunch of this list is already true, assume every single thing is going to happen, but every single thing on this list looks like it was likely true at one point. And this is years ahead. Games dated all the way out to 2024. So, you guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Your, your, what you think about a leak like this, what you think this is going to do for companies trusting services like GeForce Now in the future, uh, because honestly, everything seems to be leaking these days. Almost every company's had a major leak. Nintendo had one a couple years ago. Granted, the guy got caught and sued to hell by Nintendo, but still it happened. Um, and there was a bunch of games leaked from that. Some that still haven't happened. Uh, but we already knew that leak was legit because Nintendo took them to court. There's no lawsuits over this yet. And I think that's maybe why some people were thinking, well, maybe it's not real. But as we go on, almost everything's just hitting so uh yeah we'll have to wait and see obviously the dates i told you take those always with a grain of salt those are just internal dates and internal dates change all the time let alone external dates so uh thank you guys so much for tuning in i am with any rebel jazz from this inner prime hopefully you got something out of this video that you didn't know before you came into it um because i i just thought that it would be really cool to go over arguably the biggest 
video game leak of all time. I'll catch you guys in the next video.